hey guys welcome back to my channel ag motion designs and in today's video we are going to create this google logo reveal animation inside of after effects without using any third party plugin but with the help of adobe photoshop and adobe after effects and if you want to learn more about logo animation and other stuff then don't forget to check out my udemy course link is available in the description and if you're new to this channel then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates so without wasting any more time let's get started So first of all here we are in adobe after effect let's create a new composition we will call it as main animation width is 1920 height is 180 frame rate is 30 duration is 10 second long and background color is white color and simply hit ok and choose grid and guide option and simply hit on title selection over here now we will go in photoshop and now i have this google file over here uh, in which uh, all of them are properly on the separated layer and now i'll save this file uh, and i'll provide the link of this file in the description so you can download it and practice it along with them then i'll go to the after effects i'll press ctrl i to import my photoshop file i'll select this photoshop file import as footage i'll choose composition return layer sizes and i'll simply hit import and simply hit ok then select this and double click to open this select all of them and hit ctrl c go to the main animation and hit ctrl v right click new and create one null object select all of these layers and make it apparent with this null one select this null one press s and let's decrease the size of this and we will select this null object and we will delete it select all of them and try to adjust it properly at the center somewhere around over here now select all of them press p for position create one keyframe then press t for opacity create one keyframe and hit u go to around one second create one keyframe at position and one keyframe at opacity go to the start let's move this over here let's make opacity zero like this now select those keyframes and hit f9 go to the graph editor select this graph by holding shift we'll move one handle over here select this and we will move one handle over here so we will get this kind of animation and hit u now hit page down button two times select this o and move this over here and we will follow this procedure for all of them like this so we will get this kind of animation now select all of this press ctrl shift c and let's call it as google animation and simply hit ok now we will try to animate our first step so let's go to the ellipse and we are going to choose ellipse and by holding shift let's create some ellipse like this select the shape layer press ctrl alt home go to the align tab align it horizontally and then align it vertically go to the start select the shape layer press s create one keyframe go to around one second create another keyframe go to the start and let's make this zero now let's hide this layer select and if you see we will get this kind of animation select those keyframes and hit f9 go to the graph editor select this graph by holding shift move one handle over here and move one handle over here so if you see now we will get something like this now select the shape layer press ctrl shift c and we will call it as circle and hit ok now hit ctrl d to duplicate it like this now select this circle and let's move this over here like this and select our rectangle selection tool and we will create one mask on this one like this again select this circle hit ctrl d and select this mask and we will move this mask over here select this and let's try to move this over here okay select all of this less and press ctrl alt home to align the respective anchor point to the center like this now select these two layers hit ctrl d and let's bring them at the top like this right click new and create one null object select this uppermost two layers and make it apparent uh, with this null object select this null object press r for rotation and we will rotate it on 180 degree and then we will delete this null object okay and this middle circle should be at the top so i'll bring this at the top and i'll change the color of this one to yellow also i'll right click go to the re uh, reveal and reveal layer in source project select this circle and hit ctrl d to duplicate it or instead of that let's hit ctrl z we don't need to duplicate it like that but uh, now let's select all of these two layers uh, i mean all of these four layers and make it apparent with this first circle 
okay so if you see we'll get something like this now zoom in a little bit go to around five seconds i'll select this uh, this one and i'll move this over here then i'll select this one move this over here go to around 10 frames i'll select this and this and let's move this over here so we'll get something like this so if you see now we will get this kind of stuff then somewhere around one second let's select this circle and press p for position create one keyframe go to around two second let's move this from here to here like this then go somewhere around 3.20 frames and move this from here to here select those keyframes and hit f9 go to the graph editor select this graph and by holding shift move one handle over here and move one handle over here so if you see now we will get something like this okay then right click go to the keyframe interpolation and instead of auto bezier choose linear so we are not gonna get any glitch over there okay and if you think this is quite slow then you can again select those and you can adjust their graphs like this okay then at this point select all of these four layers press sorry press p for position create one keyframe go over here and now we have to move them inside this circle so i'll change their positions like this select those keyframes and hit f9 go to the graph editor select this graph move one over here and move one over here like this okay and now enable this google or animation over here and now i'm going to select this layer go to the effect and presets panel and search for fill effect to apply simply copy this fill effect and select all of these three layers and hit ctrl v and now all we need to do is change the colors so with the help of this pickup pickup i'll click this color i'll select this colors so basically we need to choose different colors for each and every one okay we will get something like this and let's hide this google for now now if you guys know that uh, we have this extra uh, circle which is not parent with anyone so what i'm going to do i'll select this circle and i'll hit ctrl d to duplicate it which is this one and let's enable this over here okay and i'm uh, let's disable this select this press ctrl shift c and let's call it as eco okay so now inside this eco we have this circle which is animating now what we are going to do i'm going to select this eco layer i'll go to the effect and presets panel and i'll search for eco effect to apply instead of add choose maximum number of echoes choose 30 select the number of eco time and we will reduce this uh, one three of it and i'll add zero over there okay let's make this quarter resolution so if you see we will get this kind of stuff now select all of these circles press ctrl shift c and we are going to name it as animation and hit ok like this now press r for rotation let's make this 90 over here like this create one keyframe go few frame forward and let's make this zero select those keyframe hit f9 go to the graph select this graph hold shift move one handle over here and move one handle over here like this i'll get this and then at this point i want this google logo should start to appear so i'll move this stuff over here like this okay then right click new and create one null object select all of them make it apparent with this null like this select this null press s let's make this 110 create one keyframe go few frame forward and let's make this 100 and we'll move this from here to here like this and hit n 
then press ctrl y to create one solid background and we will bring this backward go inside this animation select all of them and enable this motion blur also go inside this enable this motion blur okay so this is how you can create this kind of simple logo animation with the help of only shape layers and your logo